Morgan Ann is uh, four, and Harper Grace, is, she'll be two on the 4th of July, and she is a firecracker. 68-year-old Judy Whipke loves taking care of her granddaughters and the home she shares with husband Jay. But for weeks, she had been exhausted and short of breath. Then an incident Judy could not ignore. About 4, 4.30, I woke up with all the symptoms that you read in the books and on the TV. Dr. Krishna Tumalapalli found Judy had severe blockages in the arteries around her heart. In the United States, most doctors insert heart stents by sending a catheter through an artery in the groin. But now another approach may be gaining ground, access to the heart using an artery in the wrist. It is easy, easily compressible and hence the puncture site complications and vascular complications are much less. In a new study called the Matrix Trial, doctors at 78 European centers compared both and found the wrist approach greatly reduced the risk of major bleeding and death. Dr. Tumalapalli says recovery is easier. Patient does not need to lay down flat for four to six hours. They can sit up immediately, they can walk around. For Judy, a tiny puncture mark is the only reminder of the procedure that put her life back on track. I'm Marty Salt reporting.